If the words of Islamic scholar Sheikh Ahmed Gumi are anything to go by, there is hope for the remaining 16 of Dr. Greenfield University students. He said negotiations were ongoing with the kidnappers following their threat to kill their undergraduate should 100 million naira not be paid. The Islamic scholar on Lost TV's uh, The Breakfast said the bandits did not carry out their threats to kill the students because of the ongoing talks. I say there is no ransom paid, but in the sense, look at it this way. These people have abducted children. They are demanding for 500 million naira and nothing else. This is, there was a standoff between them and the government. And we understand that we are attacking the government because they are attacking a government institution. And the money, the bar is very high because they were expecting something from the government. And there was a stand, uh, standoff. So we went in between, negotiated with them, tried to see that they distribute and free these children. So in negotiations, you don't ask what happened behind the door. Since the parents paid nothing, and the government paid nothing. You see, uh, the process of uh, reconciliation and negotiation should not be in the open, especially, as I've told you now, only God knows how many people are there in detention. Uh, because when we were in Niger State, one of the bandits' uh, leaders uh, stood up when we were discussing it because they gathered themselves, saying, telling his own colleagues, look, if we are really serious about this matter of uh, peace, he said we should reduce the thousands, he's mentioned thousands of those kidnaps in the bush. So we realized there are a lot of Nigerians who are unprivileged, they are still there. Alicia uh, Gulab being a former president, a man of connection, uh, we realize has since been uh, concerned about what is happening in this country and uh, has been trying to make contacts to see if you can get people who will make him understand what is happening actually. And this is uh, one of the good qualities of a leader to, to ask people who should know and this is how we came about uh, uh, going to see him and trying to explain to him what is happening and also uh, joining the initiative to see that we bring an end to banditry, kidnappings, and general insecurity, in especially the other region, and Nigeria as a whole, because uh, it's something that now has affected every region of the, of the country. Uh, it's becoming pandemic. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.